Hey, Way City Church. Hi, friends. I'm so happy to see you for our Bible lesson today. Today, we're starting a series of object lessons that convey truths about God's Word. This week, we're using balloons. Yeah. Yay! We'll also need oil <laughs> and some toothpicks. Can I start, Mr. James? Sure, not a problem. Here you go, Freddy. This toothpick represents hard things that might come our way, like rainstorms, car accidents, schools being closed, people getting sick, falling off your bike, the list goes on and on. These things hurt. to convey my point, there's a lot of things we can worry about in our world today, right? Yeah, those things are really hard, and they hurt too. The Bible says, in this world you will face many troubles. So we know we live in a fallen world, and we'll face some hard things. So how do we do with that? Well, the verse doesn't end there. Jesus said, in this world you will face many troubles, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So let's take this balloon. When hard times come, it can really deflate us and discourage us and make us sad and worry. And it can really hurt. But let's take this oil. This oil represents God covering us. He's always with us and he's covering us with his love, his protection and providence. When God is covering us, just like this oil, God is covering us, there's nothing we have to be afraid of. Romans 8, 31 to 33 says, Wait, let me say it. Go for it, Freddie. If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? See, God loves us so much that he gave us his son, Jesus, to down the cross for our sins so that we can be forgiven and spend eternity with God in heaven. That's how much he loves us. He promises to look out for us and protect us, guide us, and work all things out for good to those who love him. If God is for us, who can be against us? That's right, Freddie. No, really, I'm asking the question. The chapter goes on to say, who can separate us from the love of God? And your answer, Freddie? Check out our friends sharing the powerful truths from Romans 8. And we'll see you next week. Bye! Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine? Or nakedness or danger or sword? Or danger or a sword? No! No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through Him who loves us. Through Him who loves us. For I am convinced neither death, neither life, neither angels or demons. Convinced that neither death or life. Uh, I'm convinced that there's no life, neither angels. For I am convinced that neither death, 
nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor not any powers. Or any power will separate us from the love of God. Neither height nor death nor anything in all creation can separate us from the love of God. Woohoo! Neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ. Romans 8.39 Yay! Neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, Jesus.